Hello, my name is Shirlane McRae, and I am the First Lady of New York City. My pronouns are she and her. When I was growing up, my father used to say, if you have your health, anything is possible. And I agreed with him. But now I add to his words by saying, there is no health without mental health. Because I know the hurt, confusion, and abusive behaviors that accompany substance use disorders and damage individuals and their families. I know the trauma of not being seen and the trauma of being seen and humiliated by verbal assaults, physical assaults. I know the stress, anxiety, and depression. And I am witness to how the mental health challenges of one generation can affect the lives of the children and then the lives of the grandchildren of the next generation. Not much pains me more than knowing that tremendous suffering can be made less or prevented with very little. And now, COVID has ripped away a veil of ignorance or unwillingness to see in racism. And we are taking in the full measure of the pandemic and the number of dead bodies, black and brown bodies, grief and economic loss in communities hit without mercy, hit with a physical illness after decades of never truly being served or supported as full citizens. It is not too late we have an opportunity to move in a different direction, to allocate resources based on need, not equally, but based on need. We can address historical injustices, and we can acknowledge that we cannot have a full recovery from this crisis without mental health equity. That is what we are doing here in New York City. We guarantee health care, including mental health care, to every individual regardless of their ability to pay. This fall, we're providing a mental health check-in for every student and follow-up mental health services for young people who need them. We are also training more mental health professionals in BIPOC communities, people who speak the languages and know the cultures. Progress is not easy, but nothing worth doing is ever easy. What's important is knowing that this work can be done and that we do this work together. I am grateful to Madhuri Jha, the entire team at the Kennedy Satcher Center, and everyone fighting for mental health equity. As a good friend often says, if you want to travel fast, travel alone. If you want to travel far, travel together. Let's seize this moment and travel far together. Thank you.